Hey guys, what's up? It's the Snake Dude1814 here, and today's big video, we're gonna be discussing Zilla the Tegu's new home. Now, Zilla here has been raised in a 40-gallon Exoterra front-opening terrarium. Those of you that know her, she is a female Argentine black and white Tegu, so she's gonna get about three, three and a half feet long. Being such a large lizard, she has been upgraded to this amazing herp cages, six foot long, two feet deep, and 18 inch tall plastic terrarium. I don't know the correct term for plastic housing. Glass is terrarium or aquarium. What it is for terrarium. Okay, it's a plastic habitat. So Zilla here has been really enjoying life. She's actually basking right under her lamp at the moment. And not much has changed with her overall lighting. She still has a 100 watt power sun mercury vapor bulb by Zoomed, as well as a 100 watt Zoomed Repticare ceramic heat emitter. So lighting is the same. It gives her a basking spot about 140 degrees surface temperature, which is what you want with an Argentine black and white tegu. The rest of the habitat is fairly simple. As she's a large lizard, she's going to destroy and uproot a lot of things. So it's more for her to play around and get enrichment from. She's got her big cork bark basking area, which also acts as a large area for her to hide in. Plenty of driftwood scattered throughout the vivarium. A repti rock extra large corner bowl by Zoomed, as well as a food bowl uh, that, as you can see based on the calcium stains, is where she is fed. For substrate, we are using repti chip. It's a nice humidity holding substrate. And since she is a tegu, it also allows her burrowing opportunities. Tegus love to burrow and allows her to have access to high humidity. That's the other benefit of having her in a plastic style housing, is this holds humidity much better than the screen top Exoterra. Not that she didn't do bad in there, it just keeps the ambient humidity higher, making it easier for her to shed. That is her whole setup. As I said earlier, it is six feet long, two feet deep, and 18 inches high. She, as she grows, she will probably be upgraded if she really needs the space to something like an eight foot by four foot terrarium. However, this is sure to last her for a couple of years, and I think she finds it quite enjoyable. So overall guys, thank you all for watching this really short clip. I figured it'd be a cool little update video on Zilla the Tegu because she has been really needing this upgrade. To conclude this video, I wanna thank all of you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel and you wanna see more animals like Zilla the Tegu here or some of my own collection, definitely hit the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And until then guys, this has been the Snake Dude 1814 and I will see y'all in the next video. Adios.